Hi everyone, let's take a look at this problem. This is a horizontal analysis problem dealing with an income statement. It's problem 15-1A. For 2008, Doan Inc. reported its most significant increase in net income in years. At the end of the year, Jeff Newton, the president, is presented with the following condensed comparative income statement. And you see that income statement on the screen before you. And we have two tasks to do. First, we'll prepare a comparative income statement with horizontal analysis for the two-year period. And we'll use 2007 as the base year. We'll round our answers to one decimal point. And then on the second uh, task, um, we'll comment on the significant relationships revealed by the analysis we did in part one. Okay, let me slide up a little bit and I'll show you that I've copied in that data down below uh, just to save time in the demonstration. Okay, so there we have the same information that we here see above. So there's the 10,020 and the 5,160. Okay, now we need to compute uh, the increase because that's what horizontal analysis is about. Um, it's the change year over year, right? So the increase is equal to the difference between the 2008 less the 2007 divided by the base year, which is um, the 2007. Okay, and we turn that into a percentage. Um, I'll format that as a percentage. Take it to one decimal place, I think. Oh, and this belongs in this column, so I'm going to move the whole thing over. That's our 25%. In fact, I'm just going to compute the increase and decrease uh, simply as that amount less that amount. Okay, I can copy that down. And then we can format this exactly the same as this using the Format Painter. Um, that looks good. And now we can simplify this by saying take the difference divided by the base year. Okay, copy that down. And um, that's all there is to this problem. So using Excel, you can you can whip through part one. Um, and what we see is, uh, yes, yeah, significant significant increase, 25% increase in sales, but yet a 94% increase in profit. And that would make sense to me if we've got fixed costs, because if we've got fixed costs within our business, then for every dollar of sales, we don't have a 100% increase in cost. We have something less because the fixed costs don't change. As a result, if costs increase by a certain percentage, excuse me, if sales increase by a certain percentage, the costs don't incre increase nearly as fast, and therefore sales less cost gives us net income, so net income should increase at a higher rate than what we see in the sales rate, and that's why we see 94% increase there, and yet a 25% uh, increase in sales. In fact, you see that everywhere. Um, at the gross profit level, we're already higher than the 25%. Income from operations, noticeably higher, right? Okay, number two says, comment on the significant relationships revealed. Well, I've done some already, um, but let me make some other comments as well. Profitability is certainly significantly improved. Um, we commented on the 25.1% increase in net sales. That's that sell right there. Um, cost of goods sold selling and administrative expenses grew at a smaller amount, and that's what I would expect if there were some fixed costs based in those items. And for almost all businesses, we have some fixed cost involved. So increasing sales with, with costs incurring at a slower rate results in strong earnings growth, and that actually came out to 94.2%. And that's this problem, everyone. Thank you.